Time now for your morning rush. Some Albuquerque bars and movie theaters may reopen today. Bernalillo County is set to move into the green tier later on, and that's after the state made changes to its reopening framework. Well, that means that movie theaters can open at 25% capacity. Bars and clubs can also have a 25% capacity on their patios. Indoors is still off limits. We're getting a better idea of what it will take to get to the state's goal of 60% vaccination rate so we can open the state by the end of June. Currently, 42% of eligible New Mexicans are fully vaccinated. More than 270,000 are waiting their second dose. The state still needs about 25,000 more New Mexicans to get their first. After a long fight, the Acoma Pueblo will be able to keep its hospital open for now. They sued the Indian Health Service after the agency suspended care at the Acoma Cañoncito Laguna Hospital. The IHS cited funding issues, but the Pueblo said that they failed to give proper notice about the closure. Now the feds agreed to restore full services through February. Crews fighting the Three Rivers Fire near Rio Doso are bracing for the return of heat and wind today. New estimates have adjusted the size of the fire down to about 5,300 acres. It is currently about 13% contained. Rain, snow, and cooler temperatures kept the fire from growing over the past few days. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Erica. And here's a look at the drop off forecast for the kids this morning. Temps starting out in the low 50s, so it's a little bit cool. You'll only need a jacket or a sweater, though, as temperatures heat back into the upper 70s by later today with sunshine. New details into the two people killed in the shooting in the South Valley. BCSO is not naming the 15 year old boy involved. But they did say the other person killed was 22 year old Anthony Vigil. Witnesses say a white car was chasing and shooting at a dark colored car before that car crashed near Coors and Arinal. Investigators are asking witnesses to come forward. New Mexicans will no longer see COVID messages on the DOT's digital alert signs. Messages like that one right there, reminding people to mask up and stay home, have been on the digital signs along the freeways and major roads. But as vaccination rates increase and the state begins to reopen, the DOT says they're once again using those signs to share traffic alerts. This morning, the doors are open at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe after more than a year of being closed. About 50 visitors wander the corridors on Wednesday. Lawmakers shifted to mostly virtual committee meetings and house votes during recent sessions. NMSU has a graduation present for its seniors, the COVID-19 vaccine. The university's Health and Wellness Center is offering the single-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine to any student taking part in the in-person graduation ceremony. New Mexico State is also giving the vaccine to athletes since it will be a requirement for many to play sports in the fall. Erica. Here's a look at our weekend forecast. Temperatures in the low 80s this weekend in the metro. We'll be seeing mostly sunny skies, light winds on Saturday, and a little bit gustier on Sunday. Albuquerque Public Schools is continuing its push to get their students vaccinated. Following this week's clinics, APS is partnering with Albertsons to hold another series of events at Expo New Mexico starting next Wednesday. Students who are 16 and 17 years old do not need a parent present, but they must have a signed consent form. An Albuquerque HOA board member is accused of vandalizing her neighbor's property. Victims of the vandalism showed police the spray paint on their home. They say they don't know the woman behind the vandalism, but the woman would later be identified as Alicia Tierney. Tierney openly admits to police to spray painting the neighbor's house. She faces two counts of criminal damage to property. Art students at NMSU are putting a twist on pen pals. Instead of writing and sending letters, the students have been exchanging metal brooches and jewelry. The students created original designs by carving wax. The pins will be on display at the NMSU Art Department through May 15th. The exhibit is also available online. Upgrades are on the way for the Biopark. One big change is a brand new Asia exhibit with an observation deck. Another is the Australia exhibit with habitats for kangaroos and crocodiles. The Biopark has installed new sidewalks and other improvements along with a new train connecting more parts of the Biopark. Now, Albuquerque investment broker is facing up to two decades in prison after being accused of stealing from his clients. A federal grand jury indicted 49 year old Richard Kessler on fraud and money laundering. Court records say that Kessler took more than $123,000 from four investors. Investigators say he then used that money from certain victims to pay others. Erica. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a look at the maps. No accidents or slowdowns as of now. Things are running smoothly. And here's a look at tracker around the big eye. No problems. We'll let you know if that changes. Finally, a local superintendent is being praised this morning for keeping a special promise with students at Taylor Elementary in Hobbs. Hobbs Superintendent T.J. Parks agreed to be slimed if enough kids participated in jump rope for heart. That's a fundraiser for the American Heart Association. Now, if all of the students could gather in the gym for the big spectacle, but they got to watch it all on Zoom. <laughs> Welcome back. Here's an update on the Three Rivers Fire forecast for this weekend. Today, we are still looking all right. Light winds expected under partly cloudy skies. And 
decent humidity, but the humidity starts to drop tomorrow and especially by Sunday, leading to high fire danger and difficult firefighting conditions with 40 mile per hour wind gusts for the end of our weekend. Well, time now for the five facts. At number five, more upgrades are on the way for the biopark. One of the biggest changes we could soon see is a brand new Asia exhibit, which will have an observation deck to watch trainers work with the elephants. Another project in the works is the new Australia exhibit that's going to include habitats for the kangaroos and crocodiles. Zoo officials say that they are trying to give visitors the experience of what seeing well, of seeing what happens behind the scenes. A new train connecting more parts of the biopark is also under construction. Number four, art students at NMSU are putting a twist on pen pals instead of writing and sending letters. The students have been exchanging metal brooches and jewelry with college students from across the southwest. The students created original designs by carving wax. Erica. Showers in southeastern New Mexico. These are going to keep phasing through during the day and night, eventually moving out for the weekend. Number two, an Albuquerque HOA board member is accused of vandalizing her neighbor's property with spray paint. When police arrived, victims of the vandalism showed them the red spray paint covering their garage door, cars, and front door. One woman heard on lapel cam video saying the message appears to say white trash. Police say that the suspect, Alicia Tierney, had a paint can in her home and spray paint on her hands. And at number one, Bertolio County will be moving into the green today, which means that more businesses will be allowed to reopen, like movie theaters and patios, along with bars and clubs, but they will be limited to 25% capacity. Some businesses tell News 13 that they may choose to stay closed because they cannot afford to open up at that limited capacity. Other businesses say the limitations will be tough.